Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, we will learn a new subtopic which is chemical properties. So what we're going to learn is actually the reaction of alcohol with reference to sodium, esterification, dehydration and the substitution reaction. So for the reaction of alcohol, so there's actually two types. One involving OH bond cleavage and another one involving carbon with your OH bond cleavage. So what does it mean? So for example, I have my alcohol here. Contohnya, I have my methanol. So OH. So first type of reaction involve uh, OH bond cleavage. So what would happen adalah we're going to cleave this bond. So in new... Uh, this is what is meant by involve OH bond cleavage and the second one adalah involving carbon OH bond cleavage. This one pula, if we break the bond here. Okay, so um, here involving, maknanya kita akan break this bond. So, we're going to form this part lah. Okay, so where the reaction involve OH bond, OH bond cleavage would be the reaction with sodium and esterification. Whereas involving COH bond cleavage is dehydration which we have learned in chapter 12 kita and substitution. Okay, so without further ado, let's look for number 1. So the reaction with sodium where our reagent again will be will be our sodium and the product would be salt. Okay, so okay, this reaction is a uh, direction where we're going to cleave our OH bond. Okay, so apa jadi dekat sini? So for example here, I have my ethanol. So what would happen is that... Okay, so we're going to cleave OH bond kat sini. So what will happen? The rest ni, I'm just going to write it down again. We're still going to retain, uh, we're still going to retain this uh, oxygen. Okay, and that's OH ni kan, dia akan, dia akan break. So what will happen? O minus ni, O ni akan jadi O minus. And then it will combine with our sodium. So what will happen? Sebenarnya kita akan form our salt kita. So what is our salt? Atau misalnya ionic compound kita, kita panggil sebagai, we call it as salt. Sebenarnya dia jelah O minus Na plus. So, what would happen? O ni O minus and N A ni adalah N A plus. Okay, so how about our H ni? So, if you uh, if you want to make it balance, so jadilah plus half H2 which is our hydrogen gas. So, this is what we call our salt dah. Sebab adanya O minus N A plus. Here we have our skeletal um, structure. So, what is the product? So, again, I'm just going to write down semua uh, compound tu. Okay, but then sekarang ni OH bila dia react dengan sodium we're going to form OH bond cleavage so O ni yang akan maintain so O ni akan maintain tapi yang H ni dia jadi H2 gas tapi just to make it balance dia akan jadi half H2 so what happen here sodium ni pula akan combine with our oxygen but here I'm going to make a sign so dia adalah ionic compound so it's a salt O minus and A Plus. So that is the first reaction of alcohol where we're going to react it with sodium. Second one adalah esterification. Okay, esterification. It, uh, so it means that we're going to form ester as our product. So kalau ester, okay, ester dia adalah C double bond O, O dengan C. So this is our ester. Okay, tapi what um the what is the reagent? So the reagent must be carboxylic acid. So alcohol ni dengan carboxylic acid can form ester. But first and foremost, the, kita kena reactkan dia dengan acid lah. H3O4 ataupun H+. H3O+, pun boleh juga. So what's the difference between ester dengan carboxylic acid? So kalau carboxylic acid would be... So this is your ester. Your carboxylic akan jadi C double bond O. Uh, ni OH ok so this is your carboxylic acid ester bezanya H dengan carbon uh, H ni uh, in ester is actually your carbon so how this reaction occur so when we mention about esterification ni involve OH bond cleavage so what happen OH ni dah akan uh, apa ni it will cleave the bond ok in this case dia akan donate dia punya hydrogen whereas kalau uh, how about kita punya carboxylic acid. So carboxylic acid ni dia akan donate dia punya OH. Uh, dia akan donate OH dia pula. Okay. So sebenarnya our byproduct will be plus H2O. Okay. So how to combine this product. 
So maknanya H2O ni dah tak ada Okay so ataupun sebenarnya Kalau kita nak buat Kamu nak buat rearrangement pun boleh juga Bukan rearrangement Yang ini I'm just gonna draw another Way of drawing it Okay so what happen here is We're gonna do need here Hydrogen ni dengan OH kan Can form our water So, what is left is actually here our CH3O ni dengan our C double bond O CH3. So, this is actually our product. So, how I'm going to write it down from our alcohol, I'm going to use the um, pink one. Alcohol ni, O ni pun masih ada. So, I'm going to stay the oxygen. Okay, lepas tu oxygen ni akan bonded to our C double bond O. Okay, and this is our byproduct, which is H2O ni lah, H from our alcohol and OH from our carboxylic acid. And so, here we mentioned about color ester, dia mesti C double bond O dengan oxygen and then we have another carbon. So, this is actually kita punya, this is what we call ester. Okay, so dia punya ni senang sahaja. What we're going to do adalah alcohol akan bagi hydrogen. Our carboxylic acid akan bagi OH dia. Yang ni mesti rearrange it so that it is clearer ataupun it is much more easier for us to draw the product. Okay, so this is for example A. Macam mana pula example B? Okay, so sama juga. Okay, what I'm going to do, mesti nak buat OH ni kat belah sini lah. So nanti senang kita nak tengok. Okay, again, kenapa? Why did I write HO, not OH? Sebab nak tunjuk sebenarnya, carbon, this carbon is bonded to oxygen. Okay, if you do the expanded version, carbon ni bonded to oxygen, not hydrogen. Okay, yang ini pun, carbon ni kenapa mesti terbalikkan CH3CH2, jadi CH2CH3 here. Sebab sebenarnya, carbon ni bonded to, first one CH2, barulah CH3. Okay, so if you be unsure, buat expanded pun tak ada masalah. Okay, so what happen here is I'm going to remove kepada my alcohol, I'm going to remove my hydrogen. From my carboxylic acid, I'm going to remove my water. Okay, so my byproduct will be plus H2O. Okay, tapi what would be my product? So I'm just going to draw again yang ini. Okay, lepas tu oksigen ni directly bonded to my C double bond O. So, again, C double bond O. O, lepas tu pada O ni bonded to another carbon kan? Okay, so this is actually my struct, my uh, product lah which is ester. Okay. So, that's the last part of the reaction of alcohol involving OH bond cleavage. Dah tengok dengan sodium. Dah tengok esterification. So, next what we're going to look at is actually the reaction involving carbon um, COH bond cleavage. So, kalau COH bond cleavage ni, first we're going to look is dehydration. Okay, ha, dehydration dekat sini. Dehydration is something that we have in chapter 12. Okay, so D, maknanya we're going to remove hydrate to water lah. We're going to remove water from our alcohol to form alkin. Okay, so how we're going to remove water? First, we're going to remove OH kita from our carbon OH bond tu. Next, we're going to remove hydrogen from neighboring carbon. So, uh, you're going to check the classification of um, carbon next to the COH. So, kalau if you have different class, so ada major dengan minor lah. Okay, so selalunya kita nak major sahaja. But then, you have to check. So, kalau ada tertiary, maka uh, the tertiary product tu will be the major product. Kalau ada secondary, secondary lah major dia. Okay, so first let's look uh, example A. So, example A here. So, kita uh, we have to remove OH. Okay, from this OH. Okay, but then... To remove hydrogen, we have two. Kan ada belah kanan, belah kiri. So, determine the classification first. So, we have secondary primary. So, adalah major dengan minor. Okay, so secondary dengan primary. So, secondary major. Primary akan jadi kita punya minor. So, what I'm going to do adalah I'm going to remove hydrogen from secondary dulu. Okay, so I'm going to remove hydrogen dengan uh, OH, uh, hydrogen from secondary. So, mana yang ada bond, we're going to remove tu, situlah kita akan make double bond to make sure kita dah ada, setiap carbon ada four bond. So, we're going to label it as major product. 
Okay now I'm going to remove hydrogen from primary pula Okay sebab uh, Mestilah from carbonate to COH Okay tapi kali ni nanti kita We have to label it as minor Okay so we're going to remove OH and H From our primary So what happened here Where we're going to remove our water Situlah kita akan add our double bond So this is our minor product Okay so for example B, C, then uh, C and D I believe you could do it yourself now let's look for the last reaction of alcohol which involving the COH bond cleavage which is substitution. Okay, based on your learning outcome here, the substitution reaction is with HX, PX3, PCl5 and SOCl2. It seems a lot of reagent but actually all of it are going to form the same uh, product lah, which is uh, the same functional group. So let's look here, page 6, the product is haloalkane. So as we can see here, we have um, the four different reagent based on the linear outcome too. Okay, actually the product is sama, but what is the difference is actually the byproduct. So for this part, sebenarnya Ms. Kata byproduct is not compulsory for you to write it down. It's just that for this um, part, you have to know what is the byproduct because sometimes questions like to ask you are uh, given the byproduct, so what is actually the reagent. Okay, tapi untuk PCL5 dengan SOCL2 tu memang specificnya memang CL sahaja, it's not X. But then, here is uh, your general equation. So, R ni is actually your um, alkyl group lah. And then, Rx ni is actually your haloalkane. Okay, so please write down the name of your byproduct on your notes. Now, let's look for question, uh, for example A where the agent kita HX where it could be hydrogen chloride or hydrogen bromide. So, the first one, I want to react it with hydrogen Bromide. So, what is actually the product? So, kita tengok balik. This is actually a substitution kan? We're going to substitute our OH dengan our halide. So, this is actually nucleophilic substitution kita. Okay, and then this is our byproduct. Okay, the same goes here. Yang ni nak react dengan HCl. So, what would happen? I'm going to write down yang the rest. Tapi OH ni, you're going to substitute dengan Cl. And then the OH will react dengan H to form H2O. Okay, so that's the reagent dia adalah HCl ataupun HBr. Okay, so right now, it's actually PX3. So, X ni pun sama juga. It could be Cl ataupun bromine. P is your phosphorus. Okay, so first one, I'm going to react it with PCl3. So, what would happen is that we're going to substitute OH dengan Cl. So, CH3, CH2 tu kita akan tulis sahaja. Okay, OH tu akan substitute dengan chlorine. So, the Cl plus dengan third time around, dia adalah our phosphorus, phosphorus acid H3PO. 3. Okay, again, yang kenapa ada tiga dalam equation ni, just to make it balance. But in organic chemistry, balance tak balance tu dah macam, hmm, whatever. Okay, tapi right now, let's look for number 2 pula. So, number 2, what would happen? Kali ni kita boleh react dengan PBR3 pula. So, our product would be, we're going to substitute OH dengan bromine and still our byproduct is phosphorus acid. Okay, so that's for question B dengan A. Sebenarnya question B dengan A tu kita tengok sama sahaja. The difference is by product. Next is C, phosphorus pentachloride. Dia tidak ada PBR5. Dia memang PCL5 sahaja. Okay, so, oh, ah, yang tertulis balik kan. Eh. So, dia jadi plus dengan PCL5. Again, what would happen is going to substitute OH2 dengan CL. Ah, sama je produk dia. But this time around, dia punya by product is different. Phosphoric chloride dengan HCl. So, dia jadi POCl3 plus HCl. Okay, yang ini pun sama juga. This reaction akan, uh, apa ni, akan um, react with PCL5. There's no of your PBR5. Produk dia sama sahaja. So, this is the by product. Uh, so, senang sahaja. And then, last but not least, is your tiny chloride with SOCl2 and pyridine is your catalyst. So, how to write it down? Kalau reagent ni, kita tulis sahaja di sebelah. Uh, catalyst, we're going to write down above the arrow. So, pyridine. What would happen? Uh, is actually we're going to uh, substitute OH2 dengan chlorine. So, sama juga. Semua ni adalah uh, substitution. Okay, so. Tapi, by product kita adalah sulfur dioxide plus dengan HCl. Okay, again, we're going to substitute OH with HCl and then this is actually our by product. So, that's the end of the reaction of alcohol.